Damage Control. Hey, welcome back to Damage Control. We're at one of my favorite experiences of the year. It's the 2013 CSW camp, and I'm here with one of the biggest characters of the camp. He's a regular on Damage Control, you know him. It's Ben the Badger Jones. He brought you the Badger Bite, and who knows what he's gonna do to me today. I don't have a mouthpiece in. Please don't knock out any more of my teeth. What do you got for us, man? You have a liver pad? Oh no, that's what we're gonna no work more on liver. Today. All right, one of my favorite positions. We've done striking in the past with Damage Control. We've done some ground stuff with Damage Control. Now I'm gonna work some clinch stuff that I do, some stuff that I do for my favorite position, T formation, right? The T, my hips are always gonna be on his, and lower than his, even a big guy. I s like to seat belt here, okay? Nice and tight on his hip, okay? You'll see people will get in here and they'll have their hips back. They don't have control. He can move away, move away, he can walk away. He can control the position. If I have my hips on him and he moves away, he just takes me with him, right? So I have the power base here. Now I do a lot of stuff from here. In MMA, my favorite position, my favorite, first favorite thing to do is I always control the bicep, right? If you control his wrist, he can circle his wrist out and hit you, boom, or at least fight your wrist, right? So I always try to, I'll, at least I'll first grab here and then I'll go to the bicep. I can control him. He can't move his bicep away from me as far as normal. So from this, my first takedown, right, is right from here. I just control here and I just chair sit him over the back of my leg. So slow motion, I'm here, control. I basically just tap the back of his leg and pull back at me this way with my hand. So from here, I'll fight, I might hit him, right? He'll start basing his legs out a little bit. From here, I just trip and take down right into him. Normally, I'll stay on top of him when he goes down. Now, that works beautifully into my favorite setup, my favorite strike, usually your most devastating strike from this position. Always good to have your head on his jaw, controlling him, right? So I'm here. Now, if I do tap the back of this leg, what's the first thing that he would do normally is he would step around and back. Perfect, that's what I want. So from this position, I'm gonna press with my back of my leg. He's gonna step and I'm gonna knee him right in the liver. Right, normally he won't see, I'm gonna tap it. Gonna normally tap it. I wouldn't be able to get my hand there. Right, so he's gonna step, I'm gonna go slow motion. I like to come from the seatbelt to here on the shoulder and I'll show you why. Because when I throw that knee, that curved knee, pop into the liver, he usually bends over, oh, snap down. Right to the front headlock, right? So I can finish my choke here, okay? I'm not a big uh, guillotine guy because I don't like to pull guard. So I'll take this while I'm still here and I can either snap him down or I can drop step, drop step and turn him right here sweet okay now you might get into this position where he gets an underhook if he tries to shoot an underhook and gets a T formation on me this is the counter right this is what he would normally do so let's say we fight in here he goes let's do it this way because you're gonna do the same size of the liver he goes for the underhook in the T formation right he tries to grab my bicep if I can circle in catch here and I throw this arm hard, right down to the ground, <laughs> right? Right into this position, which if I grab high and lean my weight into him, <laughs> fat man choke. Wow. So that was a counter to the T formation. And then obviously you have your judo throws from the T formation. Yeah, but nobody likes to do those no, he steps, or see them. He steps back, I tap, he steps back. Right, and he stays down. Ugh. Yep. Always your head up, and then he comes to block his fist here. Oh. Drop your knee right on his liver. Badger, T formation, <laughs> setups, takedowns, and one counter to the T formation. So he's gonna do it to me now. Let's see if you remember. He gets in the T formation. Step one, hip on hip, right. First one, chair sit, takedown. Taps the back of my leg, pulls my hip opposite direction, perfect. Number two, my counter to his knee tap. Whoop, he throws that curb knee right in the liver. Oh, Boy, pulls the shoulder, front headlock, right? One is a takedown, is a snap down, right? Number two, drop step back and turn me. Right. Perfect. I get him, his counter, 
comes up, grab, grab the back of the tricep, over my head. Big hard twist roll. Right in. Did your face feel like it was gonna implode when I did that to you? No. Oh, I must not have to be doing it right then. <laughs> okay, and the last one, he, he uh, throws me when I step, throws me, and he's gonna drop, he's gonna fake a punch and drop the knee into my liver. So he taps me, whoop. He steps over, hips hard into me, what? Holds my arm, his head is up. He fakes the punch, I go to block here, and boy, drops his knee bone right on my liver. Right? This isn't bad. Might take the wind out of him. This is gonna make him go, and then boom, knockout shot. That's it. Thanks so much, man. It's Every always time. a pleasure to see you down here. You've been looking out for us all camp, Trying. showing us these little tricks on the side. You're a stud. Appreciate I appreciate it, man. man. Thank you guys for having me on again. Oh.